Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X-2. Alright, let's get that blue bullet skill. Let's take out the mycotoxin, get Yuna out of here, we go over to Gun Mage. Ow, that hurt. Bang, bang kind of Getting over to Mage. Might want to well, heal up. Uh, yeah, we only need that. Time for a feed, I do time. believe Seed Cannon is affected by Shell, so. And we only need to get with it, hit with it once to learn. And there's Riku. And there's Pain. Thank you, good sir. Have a good day. Alright. So yeah, figured, eh, best place to do it. Right beside a save sphere. Yeah. Alright, with that out of the way, let's get Riku and Pain back over to Dark... Dark Knight. I was about to say Dark Mage, but <laughs> there ever any uh, classes called Dark Mage? Probably fe or fiends or monsters called Dark Mage somewhere in the Final Fantasy series, but uh, yeah. All right, so let's uh, make our way out of the Meehan High Road now. Hi there. All right, let's. Kena break on the Rojo. Riku, Darkness, let's see if that can take out the Mycotoxin. And I suppose a Mega Potion to uh, make sure we're all healed up when we leave. I'll quit it. Stone Proof. Now's as good a time as any. I wonder if they have the fiends shatter at the end of battle as a way of saving, uh, as, as a way of not taxing the PS2 hardware so much. Because if I'm not mistaken, didn't it, like, once things got really crazy in Final Fantasy X, didn't, like, the frame rate start to drop kind of thing? Like, it was just slow down kind of thing? So, yeah creative way uh, of uh, you know still have keeping the uh, the effect but you know keeping it running at full speed anyways oh yeah and we did get stone proof for Riku which next is confuse proof yeah that'll be nice and for pain how far is she yeah she's just about halfway through poison proof sounds good all right, let's go. And I guess before we officially leave the Meehan High Road behind, let's grab this treasure chest. Yeah, it's tucked in the corner here. Two S-bombs. <coughs> Pardon me. All right, let's see how everybody's doing up here. If I don't shell tickets, the chief will be disappointed. Oh, yeah, I guess he's uh, totally still... Selling tickets for his uh, big to-do. Wonder how things are going. Not getting on a hover anytime soon. What if it went berserk? <laughs> really dig what these people are saying. If the Chukovas came back, who needs Markana? Okay. How's it going, guys? Did you see that? Like the Markana rebelled. Can we trust them? No! <laughs> we must abandon our Markana ways and turn to Chukovas. It's the only path to salvation. You. A lot more people are stopping to hear about the wonders of Chocobo since the Machina incident. But. Oh, what's wrong? Hmm. I wonder if it's on her mind. 
Hopefully it's nothing too bad, but anyways. Alright, let's head up here. Through the archway. So yeah, there goes it, there goes Shinra to place his comms here. So yeah, um, yeah, I figured this is probably a good enough place as any to uh, take our, care of our equipment setup for the upcoming area. So I'll take care of that off screen, and I'll be right back. All right, so here we go. I've decided to make use of the White Signet garment grid for a change to get, give Yuna access to her White Magic skills. So yeah, got it set up as you can see there. Uh, got her on Alchemist, got her with the Gold Bracer to boost her maximum MP by 60% there, a nice hefty buffer, because we could potentially be using uh, the Protect spell in upcoming, so yeah. And I got her with the Ribbon there to protect, protect against all statuses, except for death, but obviously, uh, well, if there was death coming up, then I would be protected against that, but fortunately for us, do not believe any of the fiends in the upcoming area use death, so yeah. Uh, for Riku, she's still on... Uh, Undying Storm with the Dark Knight, Black Choker, and Glass Buckle. The area we're going into is going to be the first time in a while where we are not... We don't have protection against everything that it can throw at us. And it can throw a lot at us, so... Pretty much, Riku's definitely the best guarded against the stuff that can come at us. But, yeah, it's definitely not a perfect protection, so we got... To, the stuff that protects against the worst of it, so in this case, in this case, confusion and sleep, and obviously the poison protection, the stone, uh, the poison proof, stone proof, and all that stuff is definitely going to be a welcome sight in the area coming up. Uh, so yeah, uh, once she learn, if she uh, learns confuse proof though with the dark knight, I'll probably switch her over to where is it the. Favorite outfit here to protect against Itchy, so because yeah, you got fiends here that can inflict that on us too. So, and if you recall, Itchy is basically the opposite of Curse. It forces you to change your dress fear. So yeah, whereas Curse uh, prevents you from changing. So yeah, so yeah, uh, if she learns Confused Proof with the Dark Knight, I'll switch her over to favorite uh, outfit. For pain, she's in worse condition for this. Uh, Undying Storm, Dark Knight, but I've got her with the uh, Gold Anklet and Fairy Earrings to get, protect against petrification and confusion as the big ones for her. Obviously, that's still, that means she's susceptible to sleep still, so yeah. Uh, once she learns, uh, or if she learns uh, Stone Proof uh, as she, we're going up here, um, I'll switch her over to the Glass Buckle, so to get protect protection against uh, sleep and uh, poison there, so, yeah. All right, that's taken care of, and, yeah. Yeah, just to quickly touch on abilities, haven't changed anything, but just uh, a refre quick refresher of what we're sitting on here. Yes, Riku's learning Confuse Proof, and for Pain, she's learning Poison Proof, and I'll be setting her to learn uh, Stone Proof and Confuse Proof after that, so, yeah. All right, I've already healed up with the uh, save sphere there, so let's uh, head up here. So yeah, I know I mentioned that I would be avoiding anywhere that has a hotspot, but I figured it's okay to do this because we do get uh, a couple of scenes here. So yeah, nothing, nothing uh, serious, and uh, these scenes are only available uh, before we do the uh, hotspots in Besaid and Kilika. So. Alright, looks like your friendly neighborhood machine factioner has got this place covered. Glad to hear it, buddy. Don't worry about me, I'll head back on my own. Yeah, I'm not too worried about you. Plumbings are here. Yes, we are. The machine faction and Youth League are planning a joint operation as we speak. Don't like the sound of that, but it'll take more than a few fiends to shake me up. I'm ready for anything. It's been talked that New Yevon is planning an attack. The League's been plenty busy stocking up on weapons themselves. Been a while since things have heated up so much. <laughs> Either he's talking about two different uh, fronts, or there's some conspiracy theory going on here. Hopefully not. <laughs> I haven't seen classical around lately. Uh, yeah, he's, he's definitely not here. He was such a wallflower to begin with that it took me a while to notice that he wasn't here. 
You think Klaus might have been eaten by a fiend? <laughs> uh, given this area is giving me flashbacks to uh, another game. But anyways, here's Shinra. How's it going? Calm sphere set. <laughs> la 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 la. <laughs> go wings go la 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 la. Puzzling. What's wrong? The ambient sphere wave density here is too high. The calm sphere won't function properly. Uh, so what's up? What are you going to do? Oh, he's going to go find another spot. So yeah, you did need to speak to him to get that uh, calm sphere placed. Alright. So yeah. Let's talk to Gold these guys. Here. Where are the fiends? No need for concern, Lady Yuna. Everything's under control. The fiends got close to our headquarters, but thankfully no further. The Alped from Jose assisted us in fighting them off. So, Gippo was here? Yes, his group also brought us these Machina. You know, he said something which still strikes me as sort of odd. He told us not to depend on you so much, Lady Yuna. Me? He said we need to rely on our own strength to defend Spira through the coming age. Lady Yuna, if I may interrupt, there is something I would like to ask you. Sure. As you are probably aware, we have not heard from Maven Nuge, our leader, in some time. Lady Yuna, have you no information as to his whereabouts? I'm sorry, but we don't know any more than you do. I see. If we see him, we'll tell him to return here. Thank you. I feel like Lucille's got the makings of being, I guess you could say, the... Uh... At least a second in command for uh, the youth league here. She just gives me that kind of uh, that kind of impression. But anyways, so yeah, uh, needed to speak to Yibel and uh, Lucille there. That scene to uh, get the completion for this area. So yeah, all right, with that out of the way. Uh, anybody else we can talk to? Beans are a handful, but we're managing to hold them back. Glad to hear it. Fiends coming from the temples. What if this is all leading up to the return? He said it. He said the word. I'm not a big fan of all the machines around here. They came from Bevel, right? There's a rumor out of Bevel that New Yevon is going to attack. Hmm. Anybody else? Oh, I didn't talk to you. Oh, no. <laughs> Here's Bevel's latest reject. Does a pretty nice job of eating through fiends. Yeah, I can imagine. So good that even these Bevel haters can't complain. <laughs> War does break out with New Yevon. This will be a vital choke point to defend. Fair enough. Drive systems check. Weapon systems running diagnostic. Alrighty. Alrighty, well. Here's hoping the calibrations go well. Anyways, uh, does Lucille say anything else? Between attacks, the Maven's disappearance, the Youth League will not last long under such strain. Number who believe this is all a Yevon conspiracy, that we should strike back, it is growing. Uh, Lucille is a wise one. Send out the squads under my immediate command to search for Nuge. But they have no, had no luck so far. Yeah, sounds like she's right on it. She's she knows what needs to be done. Sounds like well, hello. I'm a member of member of Elma Squad here on supply de detail. Oh. Captain Elma is on a super secret search mission. I wonder if she's leading the search for uh, Nuge. Here's hoping they can find him into before things get out of hand here. Although I guess as long as the Youth League is sitting tight waiting for New Yevon to attack. Hopefully New Yevon doesn't attack and uh, things can be avoided. So and yeah, here we get 2,000 gil. Hopefully it's just a hurry up and wait situation with the Youth League right now. Alright. But yeah, it's getting to the point where I think somebody's going to have to start flexing muscle on their ranks.
But in any case, here we go. So yeah, you could talk to this guy and get a ride, but there's new fiends along the road here, so I'm going to be taking the... We're only going to be going on foot, so let's go. Careful. Yeah, I'll do my best <laughs> with what I've got. Oh boy, here we go. Uh, we've got... Alright, we got the Archaeotherus. Can't believe I actually said that correct in the first try. Anyways, <laughs> or at least got it all out in the in the, the correct order in the first try. Archaeotherus has 1,332 HP with 58 MP. You can steal two eye drops or a remedy from it. Weak to ice, uh, immune to poison and curse, and all four breaks. In its normal form, it can petrify and poison us. Oversold, it can. It has 3,230 HP with 58 MP. Can steal three to eight remedies. Still weak to ice, immune to poison, confuse, berserk, and curse. All four breaks. And instead of petrification and poison, now it just does physical attacks and can inflict darkness. And then, of course, the our old friends, the uh, Agamas. 133 HP. Yeah, we've already gone over that. But if you get the oversold version of them, they are... They have 532 HP with 29 MP. You can steal 2 to 3 remedies from it. Still weak to ice, immune to poison, confuse, berserk, and curse. Uh, the same uh, uh, status affinities as the Archaeothyrus. Messed it up that time. <laughs> and all four breaks. And yeah, so regular form can poison, oversold can inflict silence and physical attacks. So yeah. All right, so yeah, just uh, gonna darkness with. Probably pain or Riku, just darkness and then, yeah, darkness with pain and then uh, have a prime with Riku on the Archaeothyrus. So let's do this. Uh, darkness. All right, that went a lot quicker than I thought it would. <laughs> then again, oh yeah, I guess it is only 1300 HP, so yeah. Was getting ready to use a uh, mega potion with Yuna, but yeah, didn't put in the command. Oh, well. I'm on a roll. And rinse and repeat. Right, darkness. Let's get that thing going now. Good thing I saved this. Please don't tell me the encounter rate's going to be like this. Go, I mean, if it's a, these same enemies all the way up, I guess, but it's not very conducive to the LP. <laughs> Right side can be burning through our uh, skills for Riku and Pain as well, which is definitely a boon. All right, and here we go. We got the Assassin Bees. Uh, to, if you recall, 233 HP, 1 MP, steel antidote, or to phoenix, uh, poison fangs from them, weak to ice, uh, immune to curse. Uh, they can inflict sleep and itchy in their regular form. Oversold, they've got 832 HP with 1 MP. Can steal a white gate from them. Weak to ice. Immune to confuse, berserk, and curse. And power break. And oversold, they've only got physical attacks. So, yeah. Alright, so let's just do this. And let's get Yuna going there. Uh... Thanks for waking her up. Uh, do we want to... Eh, we should be fine. Right. We've won! An empty win. 
I was thinking about if one of those assassin bees would end up oversoling after you know one or two of them got killed kind of thing and we'd have to go through and it was like well there's no way to tell which one's gonna oversoul so I was like man just bide my time and attack with Riku if necessary after Pain's attack after the darkness and there's a chocobo uh, go. I don't want to use that on you yeah, we did too. Oh, there's poison proof. Awesome. Ow! Sorry, Chocobo. Let's get out of here. Yeah, Chocobo does have abilities and attacks, so yeah. I suppose I should have gone over that. All right, so the Chocobo has 3,890 HP, 0 MP. You can't steal anything from it. It is immune to gravity. It is only susceptible to darkness, confuse, and eject. And, uh, yeah, it's got, amongst its abilities, it has the ability to inflict percentage-based damage, so, yeah. But I figured I'd let that one leave, because I'm sure I'd never hear the end of it in the comments section if I, uh, actually kill the chocobo. <laughs> then again, you know, <laughs> it'd be good for the algorithm, but, you know, yeah, I, yeah, just... I don't feel good killing a chocobo. I mean, <laughs> can't believe I actually thought of that with the uh, <laughs> igniting the uh, the flames in the comment section with killing a chocobo. But anyways, alrighty, we got a gold elemental assassin bee. Is that all? Yeah. All right. Darkness. Uh, I feel like the. Uh, Gold elemental might need it more than. Uh... Oops. Actually, you know what? Let's get that going. Is Pain asleep again? Yeah. Right. No, she's not. No pain, no gain. Okay. Good to go. All right. Actually, didn't pain learn poison proof? Uh, she should be automatically learning uh, yeah, stone proof now. Yeah, all right. Good to know. How's it going? The fiends around here lately, but since I'm such a nice guy, I think I can risk me if you lift. <laughs> eh, we'll block things. Yeah. All right, let's go. Stop off at the Jose Temple while we're here. This is actually the scene we get in the Jose Temple is kind of like a uh, a part two of what we got at uh, the Mushroom Rock there. So yeah, these two scenes, like I said, can only get them before completing the uh, uh, Besaid and Kilika hotspots. So. All right, let's take out the Watcher. Is that enough? Doesn't play. Is that enough? Right. Ow. And we're itchy. Where is Yuna? Where is the Remedy? Pain, Riku, darkness. Fortunately, Riku's gar uh, protected against sleep. <laughs> Did that not remove it? Oh, well, I guess the end of the battle, I think, probably removed it. Hopefully. Let's find it. Yep, alright, good. It's not one of the persisting status ailments like darkness or poison or anything like that. Phew. And we're back. Chief will be de devastated if all the sh sh tickets go on shold. Well, maybe we can help him a bit more. Who knows? Anyways. This chest, get three high potions. And concerning what's in the next chest, I'm actually kind of curious about 
Yeah, our Phoenix Downs are getting up there. I might actually start selling them again to trim them down so we don't waste any of these treasure chests, you know. There's three Phoenix Downs and, uh, yeah, so... Looks like Gipple's standing outside of the uh, temple there, so I guess things are going a little nuts here, especially with all the mocking out front, so... Well, sounds like, considering what that they uh, were helping out the Youth League, I feel like they've got things in hand, but we'll go talk to Gipple anyway to see if there's anything we can do to help. And, uh, yeah. If not, well, I guess we'll just wish them, uh, wish them well and continue on our way. This is Intrepid83 signing off, formerly known as Cyric1983. If you've enjoyed the video, please hit like on your way out. It really does help support the series and, uh, you know, helps uh, other people find the series for those who are looking for it. And if you uh, dislike the video, feel free to hit the, hit the uh, dislike button. Maybe leave a comment suggesting how I can improve. Always looking for ways to improve my LPing. And in any case, and until next time, thank you for spending some of your time here. Take care, be blessed, and have a good one.